have another video and this one is going to be taking a look at uh, a few of the Kapow uh, coins. Uh, this one is going to be focused on the Oxa. We're going to be using G minor. This is obviously for the RTX 4070. Um, we're going to be using for the pool hero miners and then trade ogre for the exchange that we're going to be mining to. Um, <clears throat> as for the memory, for the people that don't know, all 40, 40 series should be Micron. Um, and then the GPU sitting idle is about mm, 37 to 38 watts. For the whole entire system, it's about 150 to 155 watts, not including the GPU. It's about 120 to 125 watts watts uh let's see here where did it go there we go this one is a pretty interesting coin because as well as mining it with gpus you can also earn the coins by playing games i think two that are implemented right now is minecraft and rust and then eventually actually gta 5 Will allow you to earn these coins so that will be pretty cool this is one coin i'm definitely uh going to be watching for sure but anyway um as for the actual stock hash rate we should be getting 28.62 mega hash to 28.66 mega hash at 189 watts to 190 watts on the software um, and then at the wall I'm getting about 308 to 311 watts at the wall but this should give us a efficiency of 150 to 151.66 as you can see obviously that is not showing since I'm recording on the GPU um, this is also well the mega hash that I read off was taken with the monitors turned off and just MSI afterburner and the miner up but uh, let's take a look at thermals Currently right now it is 74 Fahrenheit in my home and looks to be about, I have no idea now, uh -huh. should be around like 81 to 82 Fahrenheit outside. Anyway, we are getting a temperature of it looked to be about 54 to 57 C for the regular temperature, 78 C for the memory junction temperature, and a hot spot of 66 to 67 C. For the hotspot. Now, anybody that has seen the previous video for the RTX 4070 on Ravencoin will know this overclock. So we're going to set the power limit to 75, the core clock to 300, and the memory clock to 500. And then restart the miner. <laughs> All right, so this should give us a hash rate of twenty eight points. 83 mega hash to 28.85 mega hash at 149 to 150 watts on the software and then at the wall i am getting 264 to 271 watts um, this should give us an efficiency of 192.19 to 193.64.
obviously you're not going to see the full hash rate. The full hash rate should be down in the description down below. Uh, I will have a screenshot of it. Obviously this was tested for an hour and it ran smooth, so it ran stable. But let us take a look at the thermals again. So came down on the temperature just a little, kind of. Um, regular temperature is 51C. Memory junction temperature, 76C, no change, and a hot spot of 59C. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and that's the video.